Here comes the only gap trading strategy you'll ever need. The one and only gap trading strategy you are ever going to use as a trader. Get ready for it. This is what we're talking about in this video. We're going to explain a little bit on why stocks gap in the morning in the first place. Very, very important point. The overall catalyst, which is going to give you a directional bias that you want to be trading in that direction. And then obviously we're going to talk about how to actually execute this trade. Let's kick things off here and talk a little bit, guys, about why stocks gap. There's a wide range of reasons here, but the key is some are going to be positive, obviously, and some negative. Absolutely, Brennan. And look, the gap just means from where it closes one day uh, to having a significant, a significant change or movement in price uh, by the open the next day. And like often, and most traders will consider this as well, like, I mean, if it's doing active trading in the pre-market, uh, then that can be a gap move, even though it might actually open at 930 at about the same price. So what would cause something to have a change in price outside of market hours? Well, news. For one, like I have our watch list up here, our free watch list at Trader TV Live, and I'll use an example. Sonnet Biotherapeutics, which you've probably never heard of, I'm assuming you have not, uh, but they provided a business update earlier in the week, including a full year for forecast that was better than expected. It had social media interest, and it has a sizable short interest. So all of that uh, went public, and uh, certainly anyone could have watched that news and then been looking at this particular name. And then you're going to get a situation here uh, where the stock was trading at 80 cents and I have a daily chart up and it opened up today at a dollar 60 was trading even higher than that in the pre-market so you know usually it's going to be a news catalyst whether it is earnings uh, whether it is a product launch maybe there's an investigation maybe the stock is being bought in that particular case uh, you could have different trading around it, but you need some kind of activity that happens post-market action where there is no chance for traders or, or large orders to be uh, reacting to the change of, in, in the material nature of the company until the following session, sometimes in the pre-market, a lot of times at the open. So that's what, a gap that's what a gapper is. And then, of course, depending on the nature of that gap, Sean, there are different ways that we can trade them. Right, exactly. And you gave one example there that you're always looking for that catalyst. Why is the stock gapping? A couple of good examples there. And I'm just going to switch right over to NVIDIA and just call it like it is. Neil showed our watch list there and uh, they had earnings. And then not only that, but I was also on my own personal watch list here. And you could see here just with what I tweeted out this morning, uh, looking like another red day here off open. But NVIDIA earnings should spark some life. And then we also did the same thing here on our sticky note and just told traders that, look, I think it was a good quarter. Just getting caught up in the market being down today. So any dips into 190 probably worth buying so on that note let's go over here to nvidia and just you know take away the fills and just look at a cleaner chart so this is what we're talking about with the gap so here it is right off the open man, or last night where you get that gap down so we close the day this is a three minute chart so you close the day right here um 191 or so you know around this area 191 91 then it gaps all the way down to 185 okay that's earnings came out that's what the market reacted. Then it came right back to the upside. The point is here, there it is. Then we come into this morning and look at this. We actually, in this situation, Neil, we actually gap open a little bit higher. So we close there, okay, and then we gap higher. But look what happens. It fills this gap all the way back down. So this is going to be a little bit different than what you were thinking about. Here we go. Opens up here, then comes all the way back down into this bottom area so basically from here to here that's the gap it almost i mean when you're talking about 190 200 stock i mean you're going to get two or three dollars away but the point is is that it gaps down to here on the close right then gaps up then it retraces back down and retests that bottom gap and then you're going to get the go so it comes down here test that gap you get that big wick to show you the bottom and then it's nothing but upside from there so this is like that gap and go strategy it's not going to be perfectly clean because what we would have rather liked to see of course is that maybe it gapped even lower than where it was where where it closed from here then rips up the point is opened up high came all the way back down to that area so filled this gap from 195 all the way back down to 185 we only get as low as 187 but it tries to fill that gap and then it takes off from there so for me that's a great looking trade let's talk a little bit about uh, execution here now in that nvidia trade an absolutely perfect example because it's not necessarily the gap space that we're looking to capture we're looking to capture the upside possible strength in the stock based off the actual catalyst. The gap space in this case 
was filled, as Sean was mentioning, but we're using those higher time frame levels as possible support. Let's maybe reverse the script here, Neil. Talk a little bit about uh, maybe one that goes in the opposite direction, number three, execution here. Yeah, and like you can actually, so even the ones that go the other way, a lot of times you can still use, uh, you can use both sides of the trade. Remember we talked about that SONN, that small cap uh, name here. So uh, on, a, on a three minute chart, you're going to be able to very clearly see, I mean, the stock was doing absolutely nothing as a lot of small caps will do before they gap up. It was an 80 cent name. You come in and sit down in the pre-market, and whether you tune in, this is 6 a.m. here, but let's talk maybe 7 a.m. when a lot of people are, trade, or are coming in to start trading, even the early birds. And this is up at $2.10. And then you start to see it come back, and that's a very, very large gap up from, an eight, from a 75-cent close. Now, we always talk about going to multiple time frames, so I want to go to the daily chart here just so you can quickly see two things that you're always looking for on a very, very large gap to the upside. And this is, this is going to fall into that category. You're going to want to see what are the significant levels. You have 175 to 145, this nice little cluster here that it is gapped all the way through. It is rejected uh, well shy of this 270, which was a bit of a top earlier. So those are the two first things that come into mind, that 145 to 175 uh, area of acceptance and the fact that it does not gap into that bag holder territory and then hold that 270. So once it rejects shy of that, a lot of traders are looking for that retracement trade, which it does give you. So that gives you that opportunity, consolidation break. As long as we're not taking out that 270 that we showed on the daily chart, that's a fantastic one. And then where's your bottom? Oddly enough, that's 144. Well, 145 on that daily chart showed you the support. This even fits well for what Sean was talking about, where even though it's gapping up and then coming back down, there can be a long trade. If you flip the script there and previous support on that daily chart was at 145, well, if you were looking to buy the dip, it wasn't just here uh, in the pre-market at 745 where you saw a buy there. It then slid back into that same price area right here at the open. So it does fall in. It doesn't close the gap. But when you went to the daily chart, it did close the gap up until a previous support range was met. And then you go from that 145 right into that $2, right around that same place where the stock broke down earlier. So this gives it almost a two for one on a gap trade. You get the retracement because it failed to take out that bag holder high. You then get support, which came in the form of the daily chart. And then it gives you that entry buying the dip. Uh, right at the open, and then all the way back into that previous, uh, I guess, rollover price of uh, about $2.10. So here's a small cap where it fills the gap almost in both directions here, but not the entire way. So you have to play inside of the range uh, to be able to make this one work for you. And this works especially well with the small cap stock. The point here, guys, and uh, worth highlighting is the simple fact that a stock that is gapping in itself gives you significant levels of uh, areas of interest to work off of based on those gaps and also based off where it was the prior day and the prior you know week of price action. So by using those key levels and understanding what the overall catalyst is, pushing that stock either higher or lower on the day provides you with excellent trading opportunities. Hope you like that one on gap trading, guys. Here's the... Hey guys, thank you for sharing this helpful information. Dear viewers, please subscribe to this channel to see more great videos.